Witcher. Hey guys, how's it going? So before I start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Dragon Critic. I really appreciate you liking the video. Um, that really encouraged me to keep doing them. So, thank you for that. Uh, so, today I'm going to talk about what I would like to see from Madagascar 4. Now, it's not been confirmed yet if we're getting a Madagascar 4. But, there's always a possibility. The Madagascar franchise, with the exception of the Penguins of Madagascar, have made boatloads of money. Madagascar 3 made over $700 million at the box office. So, there is definitely profit there if they ever want to return to the world of Madagascar. So let's talk about the possibilities of Madagascar 4. So, one of the things that I would like to see from Madagascar 4 is the development of certain characters' relationships. Now, the reason why I think we should get a Madagascar 4 is because there were a lot of new characters in Madagascar 3 and, you know, they did get some... But I don't think we got to see enough of the characters growing close to the circus gang. I think that there are a lot of adventures that are... Like, for example, Alex and Gia. Yeah, they had a really good relationship in Madagascar 3, but maybe there's a lot more about Gia that we don't know. Maybe Alex and Gia could learn more about each other in Madagascar 4. I just feel like Alex and Gia's relationship could be developed stronger. And that's not the only relationship that I think could be developed. Uh, Marty and Stefano. Their friendship could be developed further. Another reason why I think Madagascar 4 should happen is because where Madagascar 3 left off, I don't think that's where the whole story needs to end. I think it should end in Africa, in Alex's home world. Also, another reason is because Alex's parents weren't in Madagascar. Now, I actually wondered why they weren't at the beginning of Madagascar 3 because, you know, they were clearly at the end of Madagascar 2 when the penguins took off to Monte Carlo. Um, so I wondered, is this another inconsistency? You know, like um, Alex's uh, birthmark not being there on his hand in the first film, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden there's a birthmark on his hand in the second one. But then I realized that it was all Alex's dream, so that's why the parents weren't there. But it would be nice to see them again, because Madagascar 3 just pretended like they never happened. You know, they never show up, they're not even mentioned. It's like they never existed. And it would be nice to see them one last time, and, you know, again, it would be natural. That would be the place for the story to... So, anyway guys, what do you think? What would you like to see from Madagascar 4? Do you think it should happen, or do you think it should stay as it is? A trilogy. Let me know down in the comments, and also please remember to like and subscribe. Become part of the Ethan Corporation. I will see you guys later.